Now we are going to build this chair. Let's jump back into Maya. And that chair is fairly simpler to build than this one was. So we're going to start with a cube. And we're going to build it very similar way as we did the other one. So, alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff around I've seen. And, uh, again, concentrate on basic, basic shapes. Try to block in as much as you can while uh, referencing to the scale. Going back to the reference, seeing what it looks like. And just kind of blacken it a thin at a time. Focus on big blocks. Focus on general shape. And then we can always go in and make details. But don't start doing details in the beginning. Alright, let's put uh, a couple of divisions in our cube. Three width and three depth. And what I did here was I just selected the edges I want to keep and then deselected the ones that I didn't. And then I'm going to scale these out. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to select the edges and then I'm going to deselect the ones I don't want to keep. And scale them out. always reference back to the scale and I think this is a bit too small like if I look at our character so I'm going to scale it out a tiny bit more more out and more wider I select our faces I'm going to extrude these faces up extrude and bring them up Alright, back to our reference. All right. That's pretty good right here. That's a good reference. Okay. So, there is a little curve that we're going to create that's going down. There is a little curve and curves down to the legs. There is also a padding cushions on the inside, so we're going to create that as well. Now let's create the curve on the chair that we see uh, here and right here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little curve that goes down to the legs. So we're going to insert edge on this. Let me select all of these. Show view selected again and insert edge I'm going to insert a couple edges here a little bit lower drag it down and I'm going to go to the very cell level and start pulling them in here, deselect the lower one here. Actually, I'm going to pull this one a little bit more. That's going to create a curve when I smooth it. And on the top, same thing on the top. I'm going to create this. Go to the vertices. Actually, I'm going to insert one more. Go to the vertex and pull this out. Now let me go back to reference here. Okay. So let's uh, let's create the cushions on the inside. And I select the faces that I am going to extrude. Now 
actually what I think I'm gonna need to do is yeah let me insert another edge so the cushions don't come from an exact corner so I'm gonna insert an edge here that will split all the way across and here and I'm gonna select these interior faces so that way it'll create a very nice interesting corner where the cushions come from and there's going to be a little edge so I'm selecting the, verse, uh, the faces that I want to extrude for the cushion uh, for the cushion on the chair just like this and what I'm going to do is extrude And drag it on. I'm probably going to have to fix a few things with that. But that's the general shape that I, uh, that I am going for. So, actually maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Alright, and now I need to fix this little weird extruded so let's just drag these vertices and drag these guys okay now also I'm gonna drag them in select these two and do the same thing to this and drag them in and delete history so we keep the scene nice and tight and so it doesn't crash on us and now you can you can test see how it will look smoothed out um, it'll collapse some of the edges will collapse on us but it's a it's a good kind of way to see where you need to uh, begin to add edges in detail so if I press 3 you know that's kinda yeah, it, it's the general shape of it but it still needs a lot of work so I can see that this needs to be dragged out a bit more select the edges and faces I mean selecting faces that I don't want make sure you select the right faces this is gonna add create stuff that you don't want and it's a, always a pain in the ass to get rid of later so make sure you do it the right, right right way the first time to save you time to save you time later all right so let's begin to insert some of the edges to create that uh, hard edge and then the cushion so if I press 3 to see where it needs work, we know we need to uh, work here. Uh, create some of the hard edges inside so it doesn't collapse on us with a circle in there. And some around here for the cushion to define where the cushion is. So let's begin. I need one here. Need one here. Definitely need one here. Let's do the opposite side as well. One here, one here, and yep, that created one in there, one in the bottom, and one on the top. Uh, let's ba jump back to the object view, press three, and see where else we need work. Okay. So that's looking a little bit better. And we need to work on the in in interior part of this. So let's go back to the insert edge and see where we need to keep our edges. So we need one on this side, need one on this side. And it's collapsed collapsing on the inside as well. So uh, let's check three okay yeah big time so we need to insert 
edges here, here, that will keep that edge in the corner from collapsing. And do the same thing here, and here, actually I already have one in there. Press through again, yeah, much better. Yeah, looking like a chair now. And I think we may need to work a little bit more on that cushion inside. So make sure you save. Keep saving. Anytime you uh, take a little break every five minutes, keep saving. It's a good practice to start acquiring now. Control S, Control S. Okay, so let's rework some of our cushion on the inside. I'm going to pull some of these faces out to create more of a curving softness. Making sure that no edges, no faces collapse on, the, on themselves. Actually, let me squeeze this one in a bit more and pull this out now let's deselect more and pull this face out and so let's do the bottom cushion as well pull this up and scale a bit being very careful so no vertices don't scale them too much and pull them out a bit more. Let me deselect this, pull up, and pull this up, and pull this face out. And also some of the bottom ones as well. Let me raise this edge up. Alright. And let's press 3 to see what it looks like. Yeah, a little bit better. I think uh, some of these vertices need to be pulled back in. So I'm going to do them all together, making sure not the bottom one's selected. So I'm going to take these and just scale them out. And take these, also scale them out. Let's see, press through again. That's a little bit better. And we... Let's see what we can do with this edge. Bring this down. It'll kind of L curve it around. Yeah, it, it won't be as hard. There you go. Now let's just uh, create the legs and then we should be done with this chair. And I'm thinking if I should extrude them down from these, it would be probably the, the fastest and the easiest way to do so. Making sure that when you select your faces, you have four faces selected. So right here, faces, make sure these are uh, four faces in there because sometimes you select a face that you can't see make sure you always check this number and then let's extrude down go to the side view so it, I know it hits the floor that's good and let's s select the verses and just s move them out a bit and scale all the out just a tiny bit to the side there you go now we need to put some of the edges in here so that it doesn't collapse on us and so do that to each and every single leg and we're being close to down with this chair
select it, press 3 yeah. and need to put one here Yeah, that's looking good. And if you don't like the the straight edge of these uh, of these legs, you can always uh, you can do one of two things. You can insert more edges around, or you can extract the legs and just have them by themselves. So actually, let's uh, let's see what uh, extracting the legs by themselves what what that will do to. So select all the faces and we're going to remove these legs from the chair so they're a separate geometry. And again, making sure that you don't select, actually this be a lot easier. Let's do it again. Select all. So sometimes when you switch between the smooth version and uh, a regular version, it leaves those colored selected edges around. And it's just a thing in Maya. I don't know if it's a display problem or a Maya problem, but sometimes when it does that, just you select edges, you select the whole model, and then go back, and then they disappear. So th that's one good way to to get rid of that. And now go back and let's select all the faces of the legs. Making sure that we all of our legs selected. Then you go to mesh extract. Now they're all separate geometry. So I have all of my legs. So now all I have to do is let's delete history. Delete history on this guy and press 3 and create stats. So we need to insert edge, insert edge, insert edge, and now if I select the leg, it creates a hard edge leg. That's what we want. So let's do the same thing on this. two more legs to do it to and one more so let's select the legs and delete history and them again so now we can group the legs GRP leg chair and, and then select the leg, select the chair and control G control G to uh, group all of them together chair tall now we have our chair now let's apply the smooth modifier to it so select all of our geometry, mesh, smooth, division of one is good. And let's get rid of the shading to see what it looks like. And we have our chair. Two of our chairs. So next we're going to position all of our chairs and tables around to begin to complete this setting. And then we will model the couch which is right here then we will also model the carpet put some palm trees so see you guys next lesson